So recently I've been thinking a lot about quality versus quantity on YouTube. You might just think it's kind of a false question, like, well, of course you need quality and quantity, but I actually think there is a real winner, something that you really should be doing as a YouTube creator. I mean, you've got a limited amount of time and money and effort, so you can choose to make either more lower quality videos or fewer better quality videos. So let's consider these two things in turn, quality and quantity. I mean, a lot of videos are popular on YouTube and you don't really need a great camera, or good lighting, good framing, good focus, without good audio, and you can just sit on your bed and talk about whatever you like. My point is it's possible to be successful on YouTube without an incredible quality of, you know, production value, things that would normally be useful in television. Now it's essential that you actually have a quantity of videos. If you have none, of course, you're never gonna get anywhere. But the more you have, the more discoverable you become. And a good example of this is Khan Academy. They've got nearly 4,000 videos, and they're the number one most subscribed educational channel on YouTube. So that sort of system really seems to work. I mean, it works because if someone's searching for a particular topic like calculus or basic biology, they're gonna find your video. And so, you know, you'll be discovered and you can get big that way. The other thing about producing a lot of content is it means that you're gonna be producing content regularly. And that's important, so you could release on a particular day and then people will know to come back and to, to check on your stuff and they'll keep checking frequently because you keep posting and they don't wanna miss out on anything, especially with the YouTube algorithm and sub box behaving as they do at the moment. Look how unbelievably cold it is. I think I could probably stand on that ice, but I don't really wanna test it. Ah, and it's so windy making for terrible audio. I know when I started out, I thought, you know, if it's the option of you can have a video or no video, video is always better. At Khan Academy, they have an expression, shipping beats perfection. Basically just the idea that, you know, you don't have to get it perfectly right, just get it most of the way there, and that's, that's better than nothing. I don't think you should eat that. Of course, the biggest benefit of making a lot of videos is that you get a lot of views, and that is how we make our money. You know that if you put up another video, even if it's not that great, you know, people will still watch it and you'll still get revenue from that, and so there is a, an immediate financial incentive to keep making videos. Really, you gotta keep releasing them, and, and when you don't, when you kill a project because you don't think it's good enough, you're basically just throwing away money. But now let's consider the merits of quality. If you make a good quality video, chances are higher that the people who watch it will subscribe. And if you make a couple high quality videos, chances are high that they'll come back and watch them because they know that you make good quality stuff. Now the big thing about making really good quality stuff is that it's more likely to kind of go viral, go big, you know, spread out there. Not every video is going to do that, obviously, but if you keep making really good quality stuff, then one of those times that video is going to get a much bigger audience than you've ever had before. And what's great about that is, A, those new people who discover you are going to want to subscribe because of how good it is, but they're also going to want to go back and look at your back catalog, and they're going to realize you've been making all this good quality stuff that's all of a similar theme, and they're going to watch it all, and so your view Viewers are gonna go way up, not just on that latest video, but also on all your past videos. Whereas if you've had inconsistent quality, then they may watch one or two past videos, realize that this was just a one-off, and they're not gonna subscribe, and they're not gonna watch all your back catalog, and basically you're not gonna drive that kind of growth in your channel. If you actually look at the Khan Academy videos, I mean, despite the fact they've got one and a half million subscribers, every video only receives, you know, 15,000 or so views in the first week. So those subscribers are not coming back and just watching everything he makes and kind of wonder why they're subscribing. And that's not really a model I want to take on. I don't just want to make videos that are kind of like reference pieces that are kind of like Wikipedia just read to you. So I've come around to believing that quality is really, really super important and trumps quantity. You know, I call this kind of the CGP Grey model. You launch one video every five weeks, but because it's so good, you know, you drive a lot of traffic to your site, and then those people, the new people who discover you, go back and see all your old stuff, and you really grow a channel, and you get a lot of views. And I, I know, you know, it would be great to release something that's super high quality every week, but it does take time. Quality takes time. For example, look at this shot that it took me about five hours to do. I mean, one hour to film it, and then four hours, including all the computer crashes and everything. I think people appreciate that. When you, when you take a lot of time, when you make a lot of effort, to make something that looks cool. So quality to me feels like a resonant phenomenon. It's one of these things that kind of drives growth at an increasing rate. 
Whereas you can just keep making more and more of the same stuff which is not amazing quality and you'll kind of continue to edge up slowly but it's never really going to take off. I guess my point is if you make a video that's twice as good it doesn't just get twice as many views, it gets four or eight or ten times as many views. So there's a real benefit to putting in that extra effort and to killing off projects that aren't that good. So this is what Gray talks about a bit and it's something that I've been doing more recently. It's just really going for the great ones, swinging for the fences because that's what you gotta do. I mean that's what I'd recommend if you're making a YouTube channel. But at the same time, it's important to, to keep making a lot of content. And maybe that's what 2 Veritasium allows me to do, because you need to practice your skills. You need to practice talking to camera, for example, and getting out there and exposing yourself to people who are looking at you strangely on the street. That's an important thing to do, to sort of build up your repertoire. So I really appreciate the opportunity to talk to you guys about this. I know that all of you who subscribe to this channel are actually interested in things other than science, maybe what I'm up to, my thoughts about the world, and you also perhaps want to have an input on the way Veritasium runs. And so part of the reason to make this video is that I want to ask for your input. I mean, we're approaching the end of the year and a million subscribers, which is an absolutely incredible, mind-blowing uh, thing that I never really expected to happen, but it looks like it's going to happen. And, uh, and I just want to know from you, what do you want to see in the coming year? post 1 million subscribers. You know my thoughts about quality, so that's gonna be my big drive, is to making things that are really, really high, high quality and things that I'm really interested in. But I'd love to hear your thoughts, so if you have any ideas on things that you wanna see, then put them in the comments below, or your opinion on this whole topic of quality versus quantity. You know, after the last video, I actually sent an email to YouTube and I said, if you want to show an example of where the new G Plus comments are looking good, you gotta check out my latest video, because my subscribers can make Make even the new Google Plus comments look amazing and you guys did so thank you let's do it again something else I've been thinking about lately is this quote by Woody Allen he says that 90% of life is just being there it seems to be really apt for me lately like yesterday I was singing backup vocals for Commander Hadfield it was unbelievable and last weekend I mean you may be wondering what the bow tie is all about Last weekend I met Bill Nye, Bill Nye the freaking science guy, and I had lunch with him and I brought him a couple of bow ties and I said, Bill, I've never tied a bow tie in my life. You know, would you be the one to teach me how to tie a bow tie? And he very graciously did. He spent like 10 minutes showing me. You know, that is just an extraordinary experience. 90% of life is just being there. And you've got to pick the right there.